Before we get started, we need to have a moment of silence for one of my favorite things in the world. My turn it up nail polish. I ha wanted to put on nail polish to look all nice for this since my hands were involved. And I wanted to wear my favorite, but alas, it dried up. And the arms of... Oh wait, can't sing, copyright. Please like and subscribe or this cat will kill you. Okay, if you clicked on this, you're expecting the left-right challenge. And yes, we have the left-right challenge. But before that, I wanted to kind of practice it and check it out. So here I have a sketch I did and I was like, okay, I draw with my right there, I do a little sketch, draw with my left here, did a little sketch. And then I realized something, that I could be way looser, looser with this and just rely more on shape more. And I try to do those same principles I learned with my left hand with my right hand. Here I tried it again, left, right, well first right, and then left trying to do it. And then kind of in the middle I have after where you know, I try and be as loose as I was with my left, but still have that control of my right. Made me think, maybe I'm learning something from this little challenge. And then I tried again traditionally to see if I'm really onto something. So, all in all, what I learned from the left-right challenge. One, I'm not loose enough. I do tend to be very, how do I say it? Really strong-handed with my right hand. Oh wow, that sounds... <laughs> In other words, I press down too hard on paper or on the tablet. Honestly, I do it less on paper. But what I'm saying is I think I'm just kind of too controlled. Like I need to loosen up so my curves and everything can loosen up. Two, this is a good warm up technique. I felt pretty warmed up afterwards and was ready to go into my regular work. So I think I just want to do this exercise again. Three, duh. Four, it is possible to train the left hand. I know some artists have done it before out of necessity because they worked so hard that they messed up their right hand. So they had to learn how to use their left. I know it's not impossible, but I just thought it was impossible for me. And maybe I think it's less impossible for me now. Five, I need to rely on simplicity a lot more. That's basically it. Uh, I do kind of get complicated sometimes for my first sketch. Maybe I just need to Again, go back to number one, loosen up. I don't know if number six is technically true for me, but does it help me draw a little bit quicker? I don't know. And then seven, am I really learning something from this? I think I have, and you know, I had to, some few hours to think about it for a while, and I think there is something about this challenge that did help me learn something. And these are all just sketchbook observations. Let's see how this actually applies when I go digital. And I feel like drawing some fan art, so let's draw something easy that I pretty much drew a billion times. Pinkie Pie. Because Pinkie Pie is best pony, and if you don't think so, well, the door's right there. Get out the barn. And that's a fine looking fan art. Now let's go left side. To the left, to the left. Oh dear. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. Why? Oh. I can't. My hand is just. Ugh. I guess it's time to try to ink this. Oh, stop. Just stop. I'm just looking at the footage while narrating. Uh, stop. No. Oh, the paint bucket won't help you now. And there. Ta-da. <laughs> Left, right challenge, everyone. Doesn't it look great? I'm going to pinky wrap the Patreon shoutouts. Pinkie pie, 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 pinkie pie